and just in the 13s, Urs Urbacher with the alcohol car creeps into the semi-final. This is racing. John Spuffard has recorded 607, 604 and Urs Urbacher 660 and 654. The odds, the form book favours the nitro burner of John Spuffard, the Showtime Trans Am. Urs Urbacher though with the green and white car is already in difficulties and the form book no longer enters into it. The car is sidelined as it sheds a blower belt. Urbacher's out of the semi-final. John Spuffard can take it easy. He has a bye run. Whatever happens now, as long as he completes a trip up the quarter mile at whatever speed, Spuffard will be in the final. However, lane choice may be vital and the fastest man in any pairing, including the final, gets lane choice. Spuffard races now for lane choice as much as for anything else. 6.11 seconds, not as quick as he has been, but quick enough to do the job and probably fast enough to give him lane choice if he needs it. Good launch from Spuffard past the stranded Urs Urbacher and again that Trans Am running straight and true. This is Norm Wilding coming out for his burnout. Wilding has the hard job of the day because he faces Harlan Thompson. This, remember, is racing. First man to the finish line is the winner. When the green light comes on, both of these drivers floor the throttles.